Welcome back to Le Pinky for episode 15 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Back on Le Pinky. For me, it's been quite a while. For you, if you're watching this series through sometime later, you're just watching episode after episode. If you've been following this Let's Play, I think we're up to episode 15 and there's been a big gap between 14 and this episode 15. I've been doing Washo, I've been doing Meadow Grove Co-op with CLEG, I've been doing mod reviews and trips and you name it. So, why have I suddenly decided to jump back on here and do an episode or two or three or however many I'm going to do? Um, this is my kind of tick over map. This is the one I said I was just going to enjoy playing and I do because it's just easy going and relaxed and you know. So I've just got back from a trip um, to Erlangen, uh, to Giants one of Giants offices in Erlangen to do the Farm Farming Simulator League for the first online tournament. Second tournament of the FSL but the first online. However, upon flying from the UK to Frankfurt, Frankfurt to Nuremberg and then uh, Nuremberg to, or driving them from Nuremberg to Erlangen, I arrived at the hotel to be told that the online tournament had been postponed because of technical issues with the servers so I had to spend I had to spend I suppose I did my flight wasn't back until the Monday so I spent a bit of time in and around Erlangen which is in Bavaria in Germany and I have to say wow the the Erlangen itself is lovely I didn't get to go into Nuremberg we just came to the airport but the countryside is beautiful picturesque it's like a patchwork quilt of small fields um, and I thought, you know what, it kind of inspired me to come back on here because it's a small map, small fields, the whole thing's a little bit more kind of relaxed and calm. Um, that said, the first thing I did was found a contract on field 10, which is the biggest field on the map. Uh, it pays out 18,855. Uh, I'm going to take a bit of a hit on that because I've used the um, oh, Josef Gzeller's machinery. I'm part way through, 37% complete and it's a big contract big field using a Fent Ideal 8T um, so the whole kind of concept of coming back onto the map and doing small machinery small fields I went straight for the biggest field picked up a contract using a massive harvester so you know it is what it is uh, that should make me a nice bit of money and that's what we need and there should have some um, I think it's sunflower isn't it yeah sunflower left over uh, which I'll be able to sell and again make a bit more money but the first thing I'm going to do we're still waiting for our soybeans in fields 33, 34, 35 and field 11 which is over there aren't ready to harvest yet once they are we will get cracking on that um, I'm going to get some chickens now I'm not going to do like massive chicken breeding a huge chicken coop um, this is like solely for like personal use eggs you know for eggs in the morning eggs for breakfast any surplus I'll probably put in a box down by the the road and if people want to you know what they call it um oh, I can't remember the word for it now like an honesty box if you take the produce and you put the money in the box you know it's that kind of hope that people aren't just going to nick the eggs and not put any money in you know so I'm just going to get a small one now this is a modded one under animal pens I can't remember who the mod was by originally. But anyway, the lizard chicken coop. It's only 900 and it only takes six chickens. But I thought, you know what? Why not? Let's get a small chicken coop. I mean, I could get another one at another point. It doesn't take up a lot of room. It's only six chickens. Let's like say just, just for personal personal use eggs. Uh, if I can get that kind of straight. That doesn't seem to want to know. Don't want to go too close. Let's put that in. Cool. It really is just a tiny little chicken coop. I really like that. Um, right, where do I get the actual chickens from, though? Where's the... There we go. So what should we get? I can only get six. So let's get a rooster. We need one rooster at least. Uh, two, three, four. Uh, let's get another white one. Five. Actually, I'll leave it at five. Because we might get another one at some point. Oh, I don't know if we will. No, oh, it doesn't matter. Let's just confirm that. There we go. Four chickens and a rooster. And there we go. We've got chickens on the farm. It's just a small, simple little thing. But I thought, why not? Yes. Let's get some. What I need to do now is get a little bit of feed. So, where did I leave the bucket for this? 
I tried to put the pallets up on the racking, it didn't like the bottom racking, so I could put it on the top, but then it renders the seed pallets a bit kind of pointless, because I've got to get them down every time I want to refill. I had the pallet forks on the floor and the bale tines up on the shelf, and they didn't like it, so I, I thought I'd just leave them. Um, did I leave it over? Oh, I probably left it over at the um, pigs, didn't I? Just need a little bit of wheat. Now, some mods came out yesterday. Um, I didn't do a mod review on them, there's only I think two mods, or there might have even been three. One of them was, was it by Agrotechnic Nordifle, and it was um, Pioneer Pallets. We've got Pioneer Seed in-game at the moment, but they've added in chicken feed, oats, um, a whole load of stuff. And actually their fertiliser pallet is brilliant, in that it's the best price at the moment. Like I say, I haven't done a mod review, but I'll show you in a second, but... So they, you can actually buy chicken feed and oats and various different things. But. So let's go and get some wheat. I'm sure we've got wheat in storage in the silo, and I'm pretty sure it tips into this bucket, doesn't it? I did it on the last episode. Sure, I did. Just be a bit more relaxed about things. So I'm letting that harvest continue, and I've, I've ha oh, I probably have had a message come up. I've been so busy talking, I didn't even notice. But there you go, nearly full grain tank. It's not weird. I just literally just said that. All right, in the right place. Wheat. There we go. Uh, have I got any barley? No. Two thousand liters straight in the bucket. I'm not going to need two thousand liters for five chickens, but. Chance to it on them would be great. We'll run them over. Okay, that was interesting. Whoa, anti gravity chickens. Uh, hang on a minute. What is going on? Where is it tipping them at? That seems a bit weird. Chickens. Okay. Thousand liters. Cool. Whoa. Excellent. Right, well they're fed anyway. They don't need water, so that's all good. I'll go over and check on that contract in a minute. Put that back in there. I'll show you what I mean about those uh about the new pallets. I always check whenever you get seed refill mods or, or pallets or you know anything like that comes out it's always worth a look um I don't know why I just come back through here actually I drove all the way around the outside didn't I because you want to get the best possible deal you can on your seed fertiliser all that kind of stuff so right I'll show you what I mean before we go over and have a look so Let's jump out of there now. If we have a look in here, and uh, well, we we'll go to bags first. So we go across here to our fertilizer big bag 1920 for 1000 liters. So that was kind of initially that's what you get in game, seems okay. Um, if we go across to fertilizer there, when we got the big bags, it was 3200 for 2000 liters, which actually worked out a better deal than if you got 2000 liters of that. Because 2,000 litres of that would come out at 3,840 or something. So that worked out a better deal. 3,200 for 2,000 litres. Well, then we got, obviously, Corteva came on board with um, Farming Simulator League. It's one of the big, well, the, the main sponsor. Um, and Pioneer Seed being part of Corteva. That's why we then got the Pioneer Seed bags and Corteva pallets and various different things. So we got this one, the Pioneer Seed Pallet, which is pretty good. 1,890 for 2,100 litres. It's about what the seed comes in at. So this new mod adds in these. So we've now got a fertiliser pallet, a lime pallet, a pig food pallet, an oat pallet, and a wheat pallet. So you can feed your chickens, you can feed your uh, horses, and you know, various different things. Pig food, I think the pig food's actually not a bad one. But if we look at the actual fertiliser pallet, that's 2,400 litres for 2,500. 
And I'm sure that big bag is only 2,000 litres and it's 3,200. I will check it again. I don't want to make, I want to make sure I haven't made a mistake. 3,200 for 2,000 litres. Yep. If we go to that, it's 2,400 litres, so it's an extra 400 litres. It's only 2,500, so it's 700 less than buying the big bag. So actually, that Pioneer fertiliser pallet is probably one of the better deals for fertiliser, or for solid fertiliser anyway, at the moment. Uh, lime is... actually, that's pretty good too, isn't it, I think? Or is that... Uh, I don't know. I have to check the lime prices. But anyway, yeah, so they're available now. They're, you know, new mods. I mean, as far as I knew, Pioneer just did seed, but... Could be wrong. We'd have to check that. But anyway, so there you go. It's well worth a look. Right, uh, I better go and check on this thing then, because the harvester will be full by now, or nearly. So as part of the borrowed equipment, uh, we've got a John Deere and we've got the Joskin trailer on the back. Oh, there we go. It's actually not too far away from where I am. That's quite handy. So I'm going to do what I have been doing a lot recently when I'm doing the contracts on Washo, and that's try to make sure that when I hit about 85% contract complete, try and keep hold of as much seed as you possibly can. Is that filling? Yep. Um and then carry on with the harvest because you can hit contract complete without getting rid of you know you don't want to get rid of too much of your seed what is what i'm saying basically you don't want to complete your contract by getting rid of or actually sort of selling all the seed and then finish the harvest you might as well just try and hold on to as much of it as you possibly can we are full though so we are at selling point what selling point are we going to selling station two that one is the one that's just right by the town, isn't it? Oh, that's actually not far from where we are. Uh, I wonder if I can get along between 14 and 15. Or just up. Oh, I just got it. Doesn't matter. Actually, ah, probably disappear. So I turn the harvest around. I really need to get that can carry on going. I know I'm using. Um, worker fees it's going to cost me money but I will make that money back I should easily make that money back uh, what I did originally actually what I normally do I went around the outside of the field get myself a boundary something quite straightforward with 45 degree and 90 degree angles so the harvester can do it without too many problems right. it goes yeah so the whole like I say small farming back on the pinky and I go with the massive harvester so that's just me. Right. Let's go and get this first load. What are we looking at? Contract complete. Uh, we've got to be up around 46%. Deliver this. Actually, we should do alright out of this. Hopefully. This should bump up contract complete by quite a lot. Bumpy old terrain. Uh, yeah, we'll go that way. Out onto the main road and then up. So I'm probably going to do a little bit of forestry at some point. I said I might do some on Washo, but there's not really a forest as such. There's a few forests on here. There's one behind the BGA, which because I kind of had the BGA from the outset, which is what I prefer to do now, is buy the BGA outright and then you've got it to use. Um, so kind of technically what I'm kind of going with is uh, we've got a permit for forestry. That's what I'm saying. Okay. This one we've borrowed has got a few hours on it already. What we're up to? 59.6 hours this tractor's got on it already. But it's not mine. Well, that car was uh, having a few problems then. Right. We're at the right place, aren't we? Let's check the map. Yes, we are. Right, so we're going to into the field here. So, yeah, as part of my kind of the trip um, and 
I say been in Bavaria. Just want to just say now, massive, massive, massive thank you to Petra. Oh, I've just seen it. You can see the harvester out the window, over just past the cows, going in the background. Right, what's that going to say? Hang on. 47% transported. Okay, so contract complete. We're looking now at 59%. Okay, that's not too bad. Right. Oh uh, yeah, massive shout out to Petra. Petra works for Giants. Uh, and myself and Silver News, obviously, you know, we arrived to be told that it was actually, say it's funny, <laughs> having had two flights with a transfer and getting where I got to. Um, literally pulled up outside the hotel. Um and uh, get a message to say if you haven't already left don't worry it's been postponed and thought I'm already here I'm at the airport uh, so that kind of unfortunately didn't quite work um, so yeah Petra and her husband and her two children um, kind of looked after us myself and Silver News otherwise we would have been kind of stuck in the hotel not really known the town or, or the area or anything like that and just waiting for our flights home on the Monday so a massive thank you to them for their hospitality their generosity their gen generosity of time and friendship and kindness and they were amazing I cannot 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 thank them enough uh, for looking after us and taking us out and showing us the countryside and you know it's just amazing really really was so yeah thanks to those guys and some of the tech guys as well massive thank you to uh, to Martin and Jan and, and Patrick as well um, thank you to all of you so yeah just sort of uh, put that out there as you do right that's going to continue okay right uh, is that the same 59% complete now 62 I might just carry on chugging away with the harvesting let's have a look at the map because I'm curious about how much we've harvested of the field have we done over half of it yet I'm just wondering whether or not just the harvesting itself we could get to complete so I don't know whether or not to bring over my own trailer as well and try and fill up both. Oh, I don't know. We'll have a think. We'll have a think. Uh, I can't do any other contracts in between and my fields aren't ready. So it'll just be a case of carrying on with this contract. Pigs are fine. They're all right. Next animal in 16 hours. When I've got some more money from my harvest and from this harvest, we are going to be buying more pigs. That was the whole point. It's a pig farm. Um, but I say, now we've got a few chickens to play with. I'm not going to... Um, get the chicken or the chicken pallet <laughs> the egg box pallet because I don't think they're going to produce that many eggs I'm going to need it I can just move a box at a time we should be okay right right okay I'll see you in a bit either more further through this contract or maybe our fields will be ready I don't know let's see oh let's come back and get that bit Okay, so I've just come from the store, and I thought, you know what? Well, that's doing that, and I'm waiting for my crops. So I said about doing some forestry. Now, like I say, th this bit of forest here around behind the BGA is kind of technically owned because it's part of the land with the BGA. So I've got my permit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some trees down and kind of prep ready for collection. I'm not going to be doing that in this episode. I'm going to carry on with that harvest. But I thought, while I'm here, I've got myself a uh, Husqvarna chainsaw we'll take a few trees down uh we'll trim them up i won't cut them down to size yet we'll just trim them there we go oh, that's better um yeah and then what we can do is in the next episode i can come out and get myself a trailer probably get an attachment for the skid steer loader i think and then we'll um we'll load some up make a bit of money we'll go up to the sawmill get rid of a few logs at the sawmill just as a kind of you know, why not? Let's give it a go. These are quite big, actually, some of these. Oh, typical in it. I go over here with the chainsaw and help a H has a full grain tank. That's just brilliant. Right. Wow, this tree is massive. <laughs> That's way bigger than I thought. 
Okay, well. Let's keep going. Let's take the end of the tree. Where is it? Okay, that's going to need a bit of chopping up because that is massive. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get myself a log trailer as well. Let's take down this one as well. I'll go and sort out the uh, harvest in a second, but yeah, so why not? Let's get some of these done. Oh, that seems to probably go a bit lower. That can I? There we go. Cool. Cool. cool, cool. smaller I think. Right, back over to the field. Where is it? It's out. Have I lost myself? Uh, that direction, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Wandering through the woodland. I'll find my way out in a minute. I'm sure it's how it is, isn't it? Field 10. Just get my bearings. There we go, look. That's not bad, is it? That doesn't look like the harvest is too far away from the actual uh, trade either. Cool. I'm kind of hoping that the actual uh, fertilising contract comes up available on this one as well. Because that will be worth doing. Especially now with the, uh, the pallets. That would be perfect. Cheaper fertiliser. Maximise your profits. Why not? Swing this round. It's loading. Oh, okay. Contract. We are now at sixty six per cent complete. How much of the field is done now? Okay. Oop. No, don't go I thought I'd grab my trader as well, bring that over to the field. 
just you know just to give myself a little bit more capacity should I need it for that contract I think I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to definitely deliver some more of the sunflower to get to that 100% complete I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit 100% just on the harvesting so but I wasn't sure how much I was gonna get into that trailer so I thought I'd bring rounds up as well if I don't need it I don't need it but at least it's there might as well whoa I should have slowed down over that nice brain thumping My little small machinery next to the bigger stuff. That was the other thing as well, actually, going around the countryside near Erlangen. You just didn't really see big tractors. The, the all small stuff because it was small fields. That's what I started saying. This patchwork quilt thing. Um, all very small plots. I kind of you know, kind of comes from the medieval uh, system of like manors uh, and lords, and you know, having a lord of the manor that owned the land. And um, the, the Lord of the Manor would give people plots to work on as a kind of, you know, they would work on the land for him, but as a kind of incentive thing, I guess, they would get a plot and they might get more than one plot. But I think what was clever and what is clever about it is that rather than give you plots necessarily that were all right next to each other, because then you could extend them out and have a very, very big field, the plots were kind of scattered, so people had different plots, but it kind of, I suppose, forced you all to work together. You were kind of worked on each other's plots of land. But what's great about it is, when you drive all around the countryside near Erlangen, you'll have a tiny little plot of corn. Literally tiny. One pass of a big harvester, and you'd clear it. You know, it, it's so small. And then you'd have a tiny little plot of grass next to that. Then you might have some wheat next to that. And then you'd have a little orchard. And they grow a lot of cherries and plums uh, and pears and they make uh, I don't want to pronounce this wrong kirsch, kirsch I think it is uh, like a, a spirit a, a shot type thing they make a lot of that um, so you've got all these little tiny little orchards tiny little fields tiny little corn fields that, and the corn isn't sweet corn in so much as you know you get your sweet corn off it it's mainly I suppose for animal fodder and stuff like that but it's fantastic you know and I saw well we saw myself and Silver News it's where all these types of trailers come from we saw loads and loads of small farmers with small tractors and they might have two or three of these little trailers like the Fortschritt um, or you might get well, there's loads of modded ones in game aren't there you didn't really see big stuff big I think we saw a uh, class to Carno in one field doing a harvest um, but even the tractors that were with it had small trailers, they were all small, it was just amazing, such an incredible experience. Very, very lucky to be able to go and experience these different things, but yeah. Awesome stuff, I just suddenly thought as I pulled up, the sort of difference in size between the two trailers and the two tractors kind of brought that into stark contrast, but uh, yeah. Oh, very cool. On the way back to the airport on Monday morning, we got a taxi and we were passing all these little farm fields and there was a fence uh, with a trailer on the back, but it had like um, plastic sides to it. And as we passed it, there were about 20 people all on the other side of it. And as the tractor had come out of the field to come up onto the road, the trailer had tipped and there were big boxes of, it looked like cabbages or lettuce maybe or something like that. And the whole load had come out the side of the, tra the trailer, was scattered all over the field, and all these people were reloading the boxes to reload back onto the trailer. And it was like, you know, as we said, as we drove past that poor tractor driver or farmer, whoever it might be, is having a bad day. That was not a good start to their day. Anyway, I'm going to carry on. Sorry, got sidetracked a little bit there, but you know, just thought I'd tell you about my wanderings. Why not? Right, nearly full grain tank. Swing round. 
in this. Hopefully it'll get to the end. Oh, I don't know if it will. We'll see. So I'm just thinking of what's left actually. I might not need my trailer. But then without delivering any more, I don't know how much we'll end up getting off of this. I thought we might do quite well out of it, but what are we up to? 77% complete? Mm, maybe. I'm thinking what I might do is unload the harvester this time into this trailer, then the next load put into my trailer, and then we can use my trailer as a kind of, that's the stop gap, that will do the little bits and hopefully take it to 100% rather than dumping a whole load. I don't know, we'll see. 12.03 on the time. The day is moving rapidly away from us. I hope now soybean will be ready at some point soon so we can get that harvested and we can make a bit of money on the sale of that as well. So we're going to turn around. I'm going to have to go around and collect all these bits up that it's missed. There's a few little bits here and there. Not too much, but every every grain counts when you're trying to make a bit of money. Okay, the contract is at about 88% complete. With what's left on the field to harvest, we're not going to hit 100% complete without delivering some more uh, of the crops. So I've got 10,000, 11,550. Yeah, it was on 10,000 when I decided to go and do it. So about 11,000 litres. What I'll do is I'll tip this and we'll see what that takes us to. And we should be have a rough idea of what we need left to complete this. So no, I was only taking it to 90. Oh man. I thought it would take us way over that. But then I suppose we have only transported 59% of what was required, but okay. Back to it then. We're not gonna come out with this as much as I thought. I'm gonna cut across this field actually. I thought I'd go way higher than that. You know when you realise that what you were trying to do ends up being a completely moot point anyway. We've harvested the entire field and we're up to 96% of the contract complete. So I thought, okay, well, I've got I've had about 10,000 in the harvester. I'll go and put that into the second trailer. When I actually looked at the prices, the best price for sunflower is here at selling station two anyway. <laughs> so I might as well just dump a lot here. Contract will complete and then I'll get paid for the rest. So it kind of seemed irrelevant, but we'll see when we hit it and the money will start to go up. It should start to go up like now. There we go. Yeah, we're actually going to do all right at this. Really well out of this. Did you just make 38 grand. Whoa, 38,000. Contract is complete. I can leave that there because the farm will come and collect. I'll go and get my trailer. Um, wow, okay. And then the contract itself is worth another 15,8. So I actually made more off the crop than I did off the contract. Ah, oh, well. Let's collect on that. Uh, what other contracts have we got available? There's quite a few to choose from. Sowing there on field 37, 30 grand. I take it's potatoes, yeah. Oh, that's one of the ones that's been there for quite a while, actually. Oh, there's a few odds and ends. What I'm going to do, go and grab my trailer, head back to the farm, probably have lunch, and 
then I'll see what my crops are looking like hopefully by then they were on their final growth stage so we should be somewhere near ready to harvest our own and at some point the fertilizing contract for this field 10 will pop up as well so that'll be absolutely blinding we'll get on with that too let's get back to the farm awesome that's all right what did I start the episode on? 15 grand? Or was it 16? Something like that, wasn't it? 68. That's not bad. This was well worth doing then. And there we go. After a leisurely lunch, it's half past one. And as you can see in front of us, field 33 is ready to harvest. Field 34 is ready to harvest. And field 34 five that obviously got done part way through because part of it that's so it's ready to harvest and part of it's not yeah the far side is but this side's not how weird's that i suppose it's not weird really is it so that far strip's ready well i can start on field 33 and field 34 let's get this soybean harvested some more money in the bank uh yeah the next episode i think i'll get some of that forestry done we'll get some logs up to the sawmill and then with what we've got on hand then financially we can get some more hogs what i'll do is repurpose these fields when they're harvested back to crops for the pigs again so i'll look at what i'm short on and uh we'll do contracts for those let's grab the rossel mash why is that not showing the header there we go Cut the header yeah so uh all go again. Harvest is back out. Let's rock and roll. Cool. We're going to have to wait until soybean prices come up. I haven't looked to see what they are, but we'll keep an eye on it. Let's turn it on. Oh, no. Oh, no, this one doesn't need to open, does it? We should get a fairly good yield off these because the fields have got everything done to them. Cruise control on. And off I go. Right, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.